The pyramids constructed by ancient Egyptians have stood on their sandy homeland for centuries and have come to become some of the most recognized structures in the world. These legendary pyramids with their grand tombs and numerous secrets are surrounded by tales of enigma and fascination that have survived the test of time. Join us on a journey as we take a look at 15 pyramid mysteries, errors, and theories that still pose enormous mysteries to researchers. Number one on our list will shock you. Number 15. The Tallest Pyramid of Giza Out of all three pyramids of Giza, namely Menkare, Khafra, and Khufu, or the Great Pyramid, the Great Pyramid is the tallest. However, many people often erroneously consider the Pyramid of Khafra to be the largest of the three. This is because Khafra's pyramid was built on slightly higher ground than the Great Pyramid, therefore, this gives the illusion that it is taller than it actually is. In fact, Khafra's pyramid is slightly smaller in both height and volume than the Great Pyramid. Well, despite this, the Pyramid of Khafra is often considered to be the most attractive and the most original of all the pyramids of Giza. One reason for this is that the pyramid is unique. The remains of its original cladding have been preserved in its upper part. Unlike the other pyramids which have lost their original limestone encasing, the Pyramid of Khafre still boasts its limestone covering, providing a glimpse of its original beauty. It's incredible to think that these pyramids were once fully encased in such a magnificent material. Can you imagine what they would look like if they still had all of their limestone encasing? Well, that is exactly what we are about to find out. Number 14. The Changed Pyramid Appearance According to historians, the pyramids of Giza were once a breathtaking sight to behold. Beyond their impressive size and shape, it is believed that the pyramids were once adorned with a glistening layer of limestone blocks, making them even more spectacular. These limestone blocks were obtained from the Tura quarries, which were located southeast of Giza on the opposite side of the Nile. After the blocks were cut from the hills, the Egyptians transported them across the Nile to Giza and carefully positioned them in place. It was only after the blocks were set in place that skilled workmen set to work smoothing the surfaces, likely starting from the top of the pyramids and working their way down. To achieve the level of polish that made the pyramids of Giza shine like a jewel, they used a range of abrasives such as sandstone, brick, and fine sand, along with masterful craftsmanship. The result was nothing short of breathtaking. The immaculately smooth surfaces of the limestone blocks were polished to such a degree that they were almost reflective, sparkling like diamonds in the sun. Some historians suggest that the glistening surface would have been visible from miles away when struck by the sun. It is estimated that a staggering 67,390 cubic meters of fine Tura limestone were quarried for the Pyramid of Khufu alone. However, over time, earthquakes and erosion caused some of the coverings to fall off the pyramid, while others were removed and repurposed for other structures. The pyramids of Giza's original appearance may now be lost to time, but the skill and craftsmanship required to create such a stunning structure are still awe-inspiring today. Number 13. Mystery of the Construction Despite the fact that there are more than a 100 pyramids scattered over Egypt, the three pyramids of Giza remain the most famous of all. The pyramids have baffled researchers for a long time, and one of the most perplexing mysteries is the construction techniques used to build them. It is hard to fathom, but some of the stone blocks used to create the pyramids weighed over 50 tons. To put that into perspective, that is heavier than the largest elephant on record. And yet, the ancient Egyptians managed to move over 2 million limestone and granite blocks to construct the Pyramid of Khufu. So you might be wondering, how on earth did the ancient Egyptians move these gargantuan blocks? Well, this remains a mystery because Egyptians left no written records behind. Over the years, Many theories have only been proposed, but none have been confirmed. One such theory was proposed in 2014 by a group of researchers who believed that water and sand might hold the key to how the Egyptians were able to move the massive blocks. Yes, you heard that right. But how did they come up with such an idea? Well, there is a wall painting dating back to 1900 BCE, which shows a group of men pulling a large statue on a sled, while another person pours water over the sand in front of them. While this painting was originally believed to be a ceremonial gesture, the researchers read more meaning into it. In a series of experiments, the researchers pulled heavy weights on sleds across the sand, and what they found out was that adding the right amount of water made the job much easier. The dampness of the sand greatly reduced friction, making it possible to haul enormous amounts of weight with less effort. But even with theories like this, 
we are still no closer to knowing exactly how the heavy stone blocks were lifted and stacked into place with utmost precision to construct the pyramids. Number 12. Built by Slaves the construction of the ancient pyramids of Egypt is shrouded in mystery, and there's no shortage of theories and conspiracies about how they were built. From the involvement of extraterrestrial beings to secret societies, there seems to be no limit to the imagination of those trying to solve the mystery. However, one misconception about pyramid construction has been perpetuated for centuries, and it concerns the role of slaves in building them. For many years it was believed that the pyramids were built by slaves. This theory was popularized by the Greek historian Herodotus. This idea was further propagated by Hollywood, which portrayed the construction of the pyramids as an inhumane task, which drove slaves to their limits. However, recent archaeological discoveries suggest that this theory might not be true. In the 1990s, the graves of pyramid builders were discovered, and Egyptologists were surprised to find that these builders were not slaves, but rather people from lower-income families who were highly respected and well-fed. It seems that the builders were not forced into labor, but rather volunteered for the project as an honor. Even more surprising is the fact that the workers who died during the construction were buried next to the pharaoh's tombs with jars of food, an honor that would not have been bestowed upon slaves. These discoveries have shed new light on the construction of the pyramids and have challenged the prevailing notion that the builders were slaves. Number 11. Not all pyramids are pointed. As we mentioned before, the pyramids at Giza are undoubtedly the most well-known, but there are many other pyramids that are equally intriguing. And it would interest you to know that they are not pointed. Among them are the stepped pyramids, which represent a unique chapter in the history of pyramid construction. It's fascinating to consider that not all pyramids are created equal, and there are distinct phases to their construction. The earliest pyramids were flat structures called mastabas, which were used as tombs for the deceased, especially royalty. However, the construction of Djoser's pyramid marked a turning point in pyramids' construction. Located in the Saqqara burial ground, in what was once ancient Egypt's capital, Memphis, Djoser's pyramid is a sight to behold. Built around 4,700 years ago, it was initially constructed as a mastaba, but underwent a series of expansions, transforming into the 197-foot-high step pyramid we presently know of. The pyramid's stepped sides and flat top are remarkable achievements of design and engineering and are evidence of the Egyptians' ability to evolve their architectural styles over time. Number 10. The Eight-Sided Pyramid The Pyramid of Khufu, with its perfect square base and pointed peak, has long been thought to have four sides. However, upon closer inspection, it actually has eight sides. It might be hard to believe, but it's true. When you look at the Pyramid of Khufu from the ground, it appears to have four sides, just like any other pyramid. However, if you look closer, the pyramid has four small, almost unnoticeable indentations on each of its sides, making a total of eight sides. The significance of this discovery is that it can only be seen from the air, and only during specific times of the year, such as at dawn or sunset on the spring and autumn equinoxes. At these times, the sun's rays cast shadows that reveal the eight sides of the pyramid. The discovery of the pyramid's eight sides is credited to a British Air Force pilot, P. Groves, who noticed the indentations while flying over the pyramid in the 1940s. But that wasn't the first time the eight sides were observed. Egyptologist Flinders Petrie had noted the presence of grooves on each side of the pyramid in 1880, describing them as very distinctly hollowed, with each side having a sort of groove, especially down the middle of the face. In 2005, a laser scanning survey confirmed the existence of the grooves, but their purpose remains a mystery. Some have speculated that they were intentionally incorporated into the design of the pyramid, but there is no evidence to support this theory. Regardless of their origin, the eight sides of the Pyramid of Khufu add another layer of intrigue to an already fascinating structure, leaving us to wonder what other secrets may be hidden within this ancient wonder. Number 9. The Royal Tombs the pyramids of Giza are not only remarkable for their size and engineering feats, but also for their significance as royal tombs. These monumental structures served as the final resting place for the pharaohs, or kings, and were often part of a grand complex that included mortuary temples and burial sites for the queens. But why did the pharaohs build such grand tombs? According to ancient belief, the pharaohs were considered descendants of the gods, 
and held a special position among the Egyptians. They believed in an afterlife journey and needed a place to store their food, clothing, and precious possessions for the journey. The pyramids were constructed to fulfill this need and to serve as the final resting place of the pharaohs. The Egyptians also believed that the pyramids had a spiritual function, to escort the pharaohs' souls to the afterlife. As part of this belief, elaborate rituals and ceremonies were performed, including the process of mummification. The Egyptians believed that the continuity of life after death could only be ensured by paying homage to the gods and offering food, drinks, and household equipment on offering tables outside the burial chamber. However, the pyramids were not only burial tombs, and this will bring us to our next point. Number 8. More Than a Tomb in addition to serving as royal tombs, the pyramids of Egypt were awe-inspiring structures that incorporated a stunning amount of precision and mathematical accuracy. But wait, it gets even better. The Pyramid of Khufu in particular was designed to serve as a giant sundial. The Egyptians were not only expert pyramid builders, but also masters of time and astronomy. The shadows that fall on marks made in the stone can tell the hour, and the level of sophistication means it was able to signal solstices and equinoxes. This helped the Egyptians define the solar year and allowed them to track the passage of time with remarkable accuracy. But their mastery of time and space doesn't stop there. The Egyptians' knowledge of astronomy allowed them to incorporate these celestial bodies into the very foundation of their engineering feats. The Big and Little Dippers, which are star patterns, were used to align the pyramids in a north-south direction with an accuracy of up to 0.05 degrees. Despite our modern understanding of mathematics and engineering, scientists are still unable to explain how the ancient Egyptians achieved such a remarkable level of sophistication. Their precision is truly an extraordinary feat of humanity and shows the ingenuity and intelligence of these ancient people. Number 7. A World Record The Pyramid of Khufu once held the title of the world's tallest man-made structure for almost 4,000 years. It was a feat of engineering and construction that was unrivaled for millennia. The original height of the Pyramid of Khufu was a staggering 146.5 meters, an impressive sight to behold for the people of that era. However, the Lincoln Cathedral, completed in 1300 AD, surpassed the Pyramid of Khufu in height, standing at a towering 160 meters. The Pyramid of Khufu's current height stands at 137 meters, having undergone erosion and the absence of the uppermost stone. Despite its height being surpassed, the pyramid remains an unparalleled masterpiece of ancient engineering. With an estimated mass of 5.9 million tons and a volume of 2.5 million cubic meters, imagine the colossal effort required to move and place such a vast amount of material, not to mention the ingenuity needed to design and build such an enormous structure. Even with modern construction technology, building a great pyramid today would be a Herculean engineering task, making it all the more awe-inspiring to consider how the ancient Egyptians achieved this incredible feat over 4,000 years ago. Number 6. The Mystery Within One fascinating fact about the pyramids of Giza is that they are much more than just massive structures. They hold within them an intricate web of passages, shafts, and chambers that have long puzzled archaeologists and historians. These mysterious spaces have been the subject of intense study and speculation for centuries. Take the Great Pyramid, for example. It boasts three main rooms, the Queen's Chamber, the Grand Gallery, and the King's Chamber. But what lies beyond these rooms? A while back, scientists discovered two tunnels, each only about 20 centimeters wide, that extends from the north and south walls of the Queen's Chamber and come to an abrupt stop at stone doors with copper handles. But that's not all. Researchers also found a large chamber inside the Great Pyramid of Giza that has never been explored before. Using the latest technology in particle physics, they were able to determine that the chamber is around 100 feet in size. This means that it is much larger than some of the other chambers that have been discovered inside the pyramid. The best part? The chamber appears to be untouched by tomb raiders, which means that it could still be holding valuable artifacts and treasures from ancient times. What could be inside this chamber? This is the million-dollar question that everyone is asking as no one knows for sure. The passages and chambers of the pyramids are, no doubt, full of untold stories and enigmatic secrets. According to reports, under the government's supervision, some of these spaces have been excavated by archaeologists, revealing numerous artifacts and clues about ancient Egyptian life. However, much of the work has been shrouded in secrecy, 
with little information shared with the public. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. As you can see in this image, the Great Sphinx is prominently displayed in the foreground, while in the background, two small triangular structures can be seen hovering above the peaks of two of the pyramids of Giza. Do you know what these structures are or what they might represent? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Let's move on to the next one. Number five, the Granite Coffer. Still speaking of secrets within the pyramids, did you know that if you venture inside the Great Pyramid of Khufu, you'll come across a mysterious granite coffer in the main chamber? At first glance, it seems like an ordinary box, but upon closer inspection, you'll realize that it's made from a single piece of granite and is too large to fit through the passageway you use to enter the chamber. The coffer's sides are about six inches thick, and the base is about seven inches thick, with a lip along the inside edge of the top, which hints at a missing lid. Unfortunately, the lid has never been found. The coffer also has a broken corner, which is the result of people chiseling pieces from it as souvenirs. But the biggest question remains, was the coffer brought into the chamber, or was the pyramid built around it? For years, Egyptologists have been trying to uncover the mystery behind this enigmatic coffer, but to no avail. Adding to the intrigue, the coffer is also empty, and its purpose remains a mystery. What could it have contained? Was it used to hold the pharaoh's remains or precious treasures, or was it simply a symbolic representation of the pharaoh's power? These are questions that no one seems to have any answers to. The truth is that the secrets of the coffer may remain hidden forever, but the wonder and awe that it inspires will continue to captivate us. Number 4. The Great Sphinx As we explore the mysteries of ancient Egypt, one of the most fascinating and enigmatic structures to behold is the Great Sphinx. This awe-inspiring statue, located near the Great Pyramid, is estimated to be over 4,500 years old. With the body of a lion and the head of a human, the Sphinx is a truly unique and captivating sight. While its current appearance is thought to represent Pharaoh Khafra, the truth may be far more elusive. In fact, some researchers speculate that the Sphinx has undergone many changes throughout its long history. Residues of red pigments on the face of the Sphinx suggest that it may have been painted at some point, which could indicate that its original appearance was very different from what we see today. Despite this uncertainty, most Egyptologists believe that the Sphinx was built around 2500 BC during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, who was responsible for constructing the Second Pyramid at Giza. However, the true purpose of the Sphinx remains a mystery. Some theories suggest that it was intended to serve as a guardian for the pyramid, while others propose that it had a more symbolic role in ancient Egyptian religion. Regardless of its purpose, the Great Sphinx remains one of the most intriguing and captivating sights in all of Egypt. Its massive size and mysterious appearance continue to fascinate and mystify people from around the world, drawing visitors to this ancient wonder year after year. Number 3. Constant Temperature Imagine standing at the base of the pyramids of Giza, with the scorching sun overhead and the sand beneath your feet. Things can get pretty uncomfortable very fast. Visiting the pyramids during the winter months is recommended when the temperature is between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But during the summer, the sun beats down and temperatures can soar. Yet despite the harsh conditions, the interior of the pyramids remains at a constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, regardless of the outside weather. It's mind-boggling to think that the ancient Egyptians had some form of air conditioning over 4,500 years ago. How they achieved this incredible feat remains a mystery to this day. Some experts, however, suggest that the pyramid's construction materials help insulate the interior from the heat. Others speculate that a system of ventilation shafts and channels allowed for the circulation of air, cooling the chambers. But the truth is, we may never know exactly how the ancient Egyptians managed to maintain a constant temperature inside the pyramids. So what do you think? How did they do it? Number two, the attempted demolition. The pyramids of Giza have, without doubt, endured centuries of wear and tear and have stood strong. It is hard to imagine that these impressive structures were once in danger of being demolished. You see, in the 12th century, Al-Aziz Uthman, the second Ibubid Sultan of Egypt, made a foolish decision to demolish the pyramids. He was spurred on by his court. The Sultan even raised funds to ensure the success of his mission, and in no time, he was able to amass a large crew of workers, and they pitched their tents near the site to commence the demolition. The Pyramid of Menkara was their first target. For eight long months, the workers tried every technique known to them to remove the massive stones, but to no avail. 
They succeeded only in destroying the smaller stones and chipping away fractions of the larger ones. Eventually realizing the futility of their task, the Sultan abandoned his plan, but not before a terrible gash was inflicted on one side of the Menkara Pyramid. It is hard to imagine what would have happened if the workers had succeeded in their attempt to demolish these wonders of the world. Nevertheless, the attempted vandalism gave us a glimpse into the ancient engineering brilliance and the remarkable resilience of the pyramids, which continue to stand the test of time. Number 1. The Biggest Pyramid There is often a common misconception that the Pyramid of Khufu is the largest in the world. While it may be the largest ancient Egyptian pyramid and the tallest pyramid in the world, the title of the biggest pyramid belongs to the Great Pyramid of Cholula in Mexico. This massive pyramid boasts a staggering base of 160,000 square meters, which is three times the area of the base of the Great Pyramid of Giza. It stands at a height of 66 meters and has a width of 450 meters. And if that's not enough to leave you in awe, Perched atop the pyramid is a 16th-century church called Iglesia de Nuestra Señora de los Remedios. Interestingly, the pyramid wasn't discovered until the early 20th century, despite being built some 2,000 years ago. The structure remained hidden in plain sight for centuries after much of its complex was destroyed during the Spanish conquest in the 16th century. To this day, virtually everything about the pyramid is shrouded in mystery, and there are many questions about it that archaeologists are still working to find answers to. What are your thoughts concerning the history, engineering marvels, and mysteries surrounding these ancient structures? Let us know what you think in the comments section. See you in the next video.